Good morning, Reception. How's everyone doing? I am going to be talking to you today about lowercase letters, and those are the smaller ones. So we have our capital or uppercase letters, and we have our lowercase or common letters. So that's what we're going to be focusing on right now, our lowercase letters, okay? So in the lowercase letters, there are different types of letters. They're small letters, so the letters that are small, the ones that are tall, and the ones that fall. So the small ones are the ones that sit in between the lines. So you'll have this line, for example. You'll have a line, and you'll have another line, and it sits somewhere in the middle of that line. Then you have the tall. So that one goes from the top to the bottom of the line so from the top of this line and then straight to the bottom that's the tall and then you have the ones that fall so they start on that line and then they drop below it so let's look at some of them okay so the first one we have is a a is a small letter so it sits right between the lines a A. Okay, and remember how to write an A. Turn around, up, down. And that's the lowercase a. Okay, the next one that is small is the letter C. C is also small. Okay, then there is E, also small. I, M, N, O, R, S, U, V, W, X and Z. Those are all our small letters, okay? Small. So those are the ones that sit between the two lines. Next, we're going to do the ones that are tall. The ones that are tall. Now, the tall ones start at the top, come down, okay? So they take up that whole space. So let's do the tall, and I'm going to skip a line. And the first tall one is B. Come straight down and then come around. B. Next is D. D. F, H, K, L, and T. And if you notice, we all start here and then they go all the way down to the bottom line, okay? So those are our tall letters. Now, finally, we are going to look at the ones that fall. Let's look at the ones that fall. Okay, so the first letter that falls is the letter G. G. So here we go. We're going to come around and down and curve. So that's what I mean by fall. You're coming below the line. And these letters always sit like this. All the lowercase, they always sit on the line like this, okay? The next one Hold on one second. So 
we said G. Now it's time to do J. J. G. J. P. Q. And what, what is the last one? Can anybody tell me? Y. The last one is Y. Okay? So those are our small, our tall, and the letters that fall. So, what I want you to do is I want you to try to write all of these letters. Write all of them, how they're supposed to be written, depending on if they're small, tall, or if they fall, okay? So, remember, the small, they don't take up the whole space because then if you do that, let me do another line so you can see. So... You cannot have, say you start in a sentence with a capital H, you cannot have your lowercase letters taking up the same amount of space, right? So that's the word have, H-A-V-E, have. So you start with your capital and then your common letters or your lowercase letters are smaller, okay? So those are your small letters. If you had a word like hat, then you would have your tall letter in there, but it's still within its boundaries, within its space. And then if you had a letter that fall like hang, everything is still small. Okay. So give it a try. Get your book, and I want you to write your small letters, your tall letters, and your letters that fall, okay? And you can either do it like this, and obviously some of you will run out of space. Not some of you. You guys will run out of space. So you go to the next line, <clears throat> and you continue your small letters, okay? So go ahead and do that. Do your letters that are small, your letters that are tall, and your letters that fall. And post it in the classroom so I can see, and we'll talk about it again, okay? Have a great day, guys.